So welcome back to Badass uh, Witch Exclusive and Badass Conjure TV, my people. Um, so I wanted to stop back by because I wanted to show you guys the effects of the hibiscus flower. Um, I simply, those were just simply dried hibiscus flowers. This is why I love the hibiscus flower. They make such a beautiful crimson red, um, beautiful love energy. It's a very high vibratory um, elixir. So you can use hibiscus. I use hibiscus powder. Um, the dried flowers, the live flowers, you can use them in your love baths, your love powders, uh, elixirs, um, anything where there is required a high vibration and specifically for love, uh, passion, um, so you can use them in, um, you know, seduction uh, rituals and things of that nature. Um, they are very beautiful. I add uh, these also along with the roses and the yellow flowers that I use in my Oshun love baths. Um, I actually have to, okay, okay, so my first um, half of my video got interrupted by the phone. But um, I use this uh, the the hibiscus flowers in my Oshun love baths because they are um, so magical and beautiful. And like I said, they turn it turn the the water a beautiful crimson red uh, wine uh, type of color, and also have this beautiful high um, beautiful vibration. Okay, so um, I, I I'm loving the fact that my um, that my um, rose of Jericho is drinking of this hibiscus water, also with a very high vibrating um, piece of frankincense in the water. And again, this water is gonna be added to my resurrection water that I am collecting from um, every, you know, every uh, bowl of water that I um, do, um, you know, immerse the um, Rose of Jericho in, okay? So that is gonna be a very powerful um, bottle of water that I will, um, you know, I'll make another video on the way this ways that I'm going to be using that. Um, the water that I've already collected that has the money energy in it, it is in the window right now collecting, um, um, soaking up um, energy from the sun. Okay, so it's going to be a very powerful elixir and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so this is all a, you know, it's very beautiful. It's it's so moist because you know, this is this is how you can tell if a plant is drinking I have not put this front part of the plant in the water it's the root that's in there and it looks so juicy and green and y'all know how much I love green so I'm so happy and my plant is happy and um, you know it's loving the hibiscus I can feel it so it's very this is going to be um, beautiful magical and I also wanted to let y'all know that this will continue to get bigger and if um, like once your your rose of Jericho starts to take root in the water you can plant this in some um, soil, okay? And when you plant it in some, you know, mineral-rich soil, um, this plant can get huge, okay? So they don't have to say small like this because most of the other videos that I've watched on YouTube, they... Uh, the plants are about this size or a little bit bigger, but you can actually plant this in water in dirt and allow them to take root and they will grow. Okay. So these are very beautiful, very magical. I think I'm going to get a few more. Okay. Cause I want these around my house. So, but anyway, I wanted to stop by and show y'all this beautiful red water and show y'all, you know, and let you know that this is the effect of just simple dried hibiscus flowers, okay? So to give you some ideas for love elixirs, uh, substitutes for blood root powder or any other red colored uh, substance that you need um, in your workings, okay? So until we meet again, keep it classy, keep it clean, keep it exclusive, and do what you gotta do to make shit happen. Peace.